In this video, we're going to try out the X-Tool P919 Pro, and we're going to put this to the test. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Hey everybody, welcome to Random Fix. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out the X-Tool P919 Pro, and this is a bi-directional scan tool that has 8 gigs of RAM and 8 processors. It's probably the fastest unit I've ever used. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this unit in action. I'm going to show you guys what's included with the unit. We're going to take a look at the interface. And lastly, I'll go ahead and try it on a couple of different vehicles. And towards the end of the video, I will go ahead and give this a random fix tool grade so you guys can decide for yourself. And I'm super excited to go ahead and record this video as I've been trying this out for the last week. Before we jump in the vehicle, let me show you guys what's included. So it did come in this nice oversized box right here. I included this hard shell case. It had this wireless docking station, which I really like. All the cords to go ahead and power up the docking station are included. And the same port can power up the VCI. This is the vehicle communication interface. And this is not Bluetooth. This is Wi-Fi Direct. So it's much faster. With Wi-Fi Direct, you do not need internet access. So you could go ahead and use this out in the field and it is ultra fast. I'll leave you guys another review of an x -Tool product where I actually demonstrate the Wi-Fi Direct features from far, far away. It's pretty cool. And so all I have to do is connect this to my vehicle and follow what the unit tells me to do to go ahead and troubleshoot my vehicle. In case I need to do a firmware update on this, it's really easy as I can power it up right here and the unit will communicate and this will be shown on the display. It also displays the voltage of the vehicle. In this case, 13.3 volts is coming from the power adapter and I have a solid connection. I have gone ahead and done the updates. The updates are very easy to do and three years of updates are included. And so far I have installed close to about a hundred and something updates since I've had the unit. And this is the main interface here. And before we jump into that, let's go ahead and review what's included in the box. So in the box, we get a lot of different accessories, including a car charger. So I can go ahead and charge this from the vehicle. However, this does charge via USB-C. The box opens up just like this. It includes all these legacy connectors. So right here, I have a legacy connector for a Fiat 3-pin, Suzuki 3-pin, Ben's 14-pin connector. So there's a lot of different connectors included here different power tips for different regions of the world and we get some serial connectors here this right here is the bigger bmw legacy connector so everything's packaged up really nicely so they really include a lot including usb-c power bricks and the, again the unit was very easy to go and set up so as far as the unit itself this is going to be a 10.1 inch display and it is really a nice very vivid display which I can definitely brighten up just by swiping down and it's even got a built-in flashlight it does have a camera and a camcorder built into the actual unit for documenting some of the work that is performed on the vehicle the unit is running Android 10 with 8 gigs of RAM with 8 processors and 128 gigs of actual storage so this is definitely going to be future proofed and it's got a nice feel to it it is not slippery up top we have a USB-C connector up here which does charge the unit the unit is charging now via USB-C so that is definitely nice to have this for portable use in case the unit runs low on power and the unit is currently charging right up here. This does have DOIP and CAN-FD support. So this is really helpful for a lot of the newer vehicles, including the Chryslers that are 2018 and newer. So I'm connected to a 2019 Jeep Gladiator here. Let's see what happens when I hit auto scan. And this is going to be the, the portal here for me to go ahead and type in my username and password 
that I need to go ahead and get auto authentication authority and this is $50 a year and once I sign up through this I can get access to the newer Chrysler vehicles that are 2018 and newer however I still have access to OBD2 and if I have a 2017 and older Chrysler vehicle I don't need to go ahead and sign up for that I also have a 2014 Dodge which we'll go ahead and try out as well as far as the interface it is very easy to understand and Xtool has really simplified the main screen here as they've gotten rid of the OBD2 and the scan function and just combined it into one so I can go ahead and just select auto scan and from there I can select OBD2 if needed we have special functions and there's a total of 42 special functions available so there's quite a few and as a helpful tip just because you see a function listed doesn't mean your vehicle is going to be supported so if you really are interested in, in this particular tool go ahead and email them your VIN number and ask for a list of supported functions and there's a lot of special functions available and there's some pretty advanced ones and some pretty basic ones key programming I have programmed keys with Xtool devices before I can go ahead and do TPMS resets Xtool does sell P TPMS sensors and they're pretty affordable we have a gear relearn gear match oil reset steering wheel angle sensor we got an ECU configurator control unit resets and we also got a VIN write function and for example on the VIN write function these are the vehicles that are, it's available for in America Europe and on the Asian vehicles as you may notice GM and Dodge are not available here we have reports so I'm able to go ahead and save reports onto this and share them with my customers updates updates pop up right here when there are new ones available and they did release an update for the VCI interface as well we have a remote control function so I can go ahead and access this from any computer in the world and the nice thing is since this is completely wireless and it is not using Bluetooth I have extended range and I even took this with me when I went camping with my kids so I was able to sit comfortably on a bench and access the information on my vehicle and we have settings in settings I can change language units display and lastly we have an Xtool function and this does have a full browser so I can access YouTube and on the very bottom there are going to be some buttons this is a screenshot volume down back home multi app volume up the diagnostic screen and we also have a screen record mode as well let's go ahead and hop into a vehicle so connecting this to a vehicle is very easy all I do is slide it into place and once I slide it into place there's going to be the voltage and it's connected I can hit auto scan and look how fast this unit is I am not speeding this up all I have to do is follow the directions so I'm going to start the engine and this does have the topology 2.0 which is really a little bit easier to use and understand than the older system and I'm also able to access a list view as well and once this is complete I can go ahead and run a DTC report I can save the report and I always recommend saving the report and then clearing all the diagnostic trouble codes especially if the vehicle had a dead battery guys you do not want to be chasing phantom problems on vehicles if they really don't exist and I can also access the list view here if I go back to the previous screen I can access all the different modules on the vehicle here's all the modules on this vehicle I'm gonna go to power control module the engine is started actuation test and here's all the different actuation tests that are available We have special functions and we can also view live data and I can graph up to eight different items at once and in live data I'm able to access 227 different fields 
which is definitely a big improvement from the basic OBD2 live data streams, which is normally in the 40s. And under special functions, I can program a key. And in order to program a key, I will need to go ahead and get the pin number, which is really easy on this. And there is my pin number. I could erase a key, read how many keys the system has. I could also adjust the instrument cluster, the miles if needed, in case I made a repair. This does have 8S. Before we hop into the next vehicle, let's go ahead and do some bi-directional functions here. Let's just say I had a problem with the lights, the courtesy lights, and I couldn't figure out if it was the switch. I can go ahead and turn off most electronics on and off with the scan tool. If I found the seat belt reminder light to be annoying, I can go ahead and turn that off if I was using this for work. And now it's disabled. That easy. And today's super hot. Let's go ahead and see if we can activate some of the AC functions on this vehicle. I want the blower motor at 100. There you go. Blower motor is at 100. And you can see that the switch is off. And so a lot of the electronics can be controlled with this bi-directional scan tool right here. Let's go ahead and quickly scan a hybrid vehicle with this car. So if you're watching this video and you've never owned a scan tool and you're asking yourself, should you buy a scan tool? Well, I'll give you guys some advice from my own experience. And I've been working on cars since I was 13 years old, guys. And I do not do any complicated repairs. I keep everything very simple and I take care of the issue right when it comes up so I don't change out engines, transmissions. If I can't do it in two hours, I don't even attempt to do it myself. And luckily, I have not had to do any major repairs because I take care of my vehicles. So when you have a scan tool like the one I'm showing you guys, the P919 Pro, you're gonna be able to go ahead and figure out most of your vehicle's issues with a scan. Then you can hop online, there's forums, and if you guys need a tip or you don't know what to do or you got a certain issue with your vehicle, Go ahead and comment down below and I'll do my best to point you guys in the right direction. I'll leave you guys a link to the scan tool at the end and also in the video description box down below. I know they're going to have a special pricing on it. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I think it's going to be pretty aggressive. And just because you can't afford this unit doesn't mean you should not buy a scan tool. And Xtool actually makes other scan tools that are more affordable. And I'll leave you guys two links in the video box down below as well for those. Now I am scanning a hybrid Prius and since this is wireless I do not have to stay cooped up in the vehicle because it's pretty hot today and all I need to do is choose the region. The VIN number was automatically decoded and I can do the auto scan, system selection, ADAS calibration or ECU configuration. Let's just do an auto scan and guys look how fast this is. This is in real time. That was pretty fast. So this is great for vehicles that are 1996 and newer and with those old legacy connectors. This can go ahead and work on many, many vehicles. And I love the speed of this. On this hybrid, I can access the following systems. And let me go ahead and let's turn on the wireless buzzer. It's all from the exterior here. So I don't need a second person. Same thing with the headlights all the different electronics, all the same 42 functions are listed here. Again, not all of them apply to your vehicle. So this unit actually has so many functions and special abilities. I'm actually gonna go online so I can give you guys a quick overview of this. So we have the topology mapping, the FCA authorization. This works for vehicles 2018 and newer, even on the vehicles such as Maserati, Fiat, Alfa Romero, Full bi-directional support of up to 4,000 active tests plus, so they're constantly adding things in. This includes wipers, window motors, doors, headlights, fuel pumps, sunroofs, and much more. Key programming is really easy to do with these X-Tool units. So we have online ECU coding. This works for VW and Skoda, BMW, and Benz. So you can do such things as ECU replacement. It'll actually walk you through what you need to get done. 
And this includes Volkswagen Automotive Group, BMW. And we got programmable module installation, ECU configuration, and ECU coding. So this is offline coding for vehicles such as Audis, Benzes, and Mitsubishi. Online coding. And we got 42 service functions. And I covered this briefly with you guys, but there's a lot here. And some of them are really advanced and not really found on many other scan tools such as the Knox reset. We got the live data, three years of updates included. And again, guys, if I haven't said it enough times, if you don't renew, your unit will still continue to work. However, you will not get any more updates. We have the charger base, which is super cool. And we got all of these adapters included. And there's a lot here. So I'm sorry I did not break these down further. And if you guys want to see me go over this a little bit more in detail, please comment down below. Now that we have tested this on a few different vehicles, you got a chance to see the speed and what's included in the box. I'm going to jump into my favorite part of the video, which is going to be to give this a random fixed tool grade so you guys can go ahead and decide for yourself. But before I forget, if you haven't done so already, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up button and clicking on the subscribe button as well as it does really mean a lot to me and I do put a lot of time and effort into this. Now I do want to thank the vendor for sending me this unit guys and as always I'm going to keep my review honest and tell you guys exactly how it does and give you guys the real world feedback that you want. There's a lot of things that I like about this unit. I like the fact that this came with this docking station. Not many scan tools have this included and in case I put it in backwards It'll still work. It just won't charge as the charging ports are up top. I like the camera on the back, the flashlight. It isn't very bright. However, it's better than nothing. And I like the three years of updates. And this is ultra fast. This is one of the very first scan tools that I have tested that has eight gigs of RAM. And even though I like all those features, I do wish I had a kickstand because when I'm using it, I have to go ahead and basically keep one hand available just to keep this thing from falling down and overall I'm going to go ahead and give this a random fixed tool grade of 91 out of 100 and I'll display for you guys on the screen so you guys can see how I judge the unit if there's anything that I left off in this video please comment down below and I'll be sure to incorporate it into a future video and I'll leave you guys those links at the end of the video thank you so much and have a great day